Good, good. How's how's your time in San Diego been here, and how excited are you to be back in the cage? Um, shoot, time in San Diego has been great. I mean, it's been a short week. I came here Tuesday, um, short flight over from Vegas, so it's been good. Um, yeah, short commute. Uh, I got to stay home a little bit longer. But yeah, I'm excited to be back in fight week. Be excited to weigh in tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's two two full camps, so I'm re I'm ready to go now. It's almost six months now. I see him sitting back here, but what can you say about your coach, Eric Nixick, and the culture he's built down in Extreme Couture? It is, you know, one of the hottest gyms on the planet right now. Yeah, I mean, it is. I think um, it's just a, it's a gym with a bunch of hungry guys, um, but this, that, that gym's been going forever. It's like, you know, it's one of the strongest gyms in Vegas, um, longest running and strongest gyms in Vegas, and... What he's got going on right now is 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 very strong. He got he got um, everybody on a high high expectation just week in and week out from the local apex to wherever we're at. You know, um, expectations are high just just off of each other. Just off of um, we see how everybody's doing. You know, there's a lot of things that are unsaid. You know, that don't have to be said that we just expect out of ourselves because the fighters that are walking in those doors and you know who, who we're surrounded by. And there's a lot of things that are said that are instilled in us um, day to day in, in pro practices. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good place to be around. Hey Kai, over here. Um, just to piggyback off the, you know, sort of the talk of the gym and Extreme Couture, how inspiring was it? Uh, I know you guys are in different weight classes, but Sean Strickland winning the UFC title. I know he was back in the gym on Monday helping guys out. Like, how inspiring was that for your entire team? Oh, it was, it was really inspiring. I mean, shoot, I, I teared up during that fight. Um, me, me and him, me and Sean have a good relationship. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's it, he, he knows how much work I put in. I see how much work he puts in. Uh, he he coaches me through through a lot of my rounds. Um, I pick up off of him just from just from watching, just from watching and and, and stuff that he tells me. Um, we've traveled to we've we've been at Ruka together, um, and yeah, we're, and then we're at Extreme, and you know we we kind of we we built a relationship off of just seeing each other in the gym all the time. We, we see. Um, he, I'm somebody who's always in a gym, and he sees that. I see he's always in a gym, um, no matter no matter what time of the year it is for him. Um, and it's same like me, and we come from totally different lifestyles, personalities, but we we, you know, we 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 click on so many different levels in in gym. And I think I think he's he's actually in San Diego right now. He's probably he's trying, he might he's trying to be at the fight. Does he, I'm sure he makes fun of you a bit. Do you ever give it back to him at all? He don't seem like a guy who's gonna, you know, really poke fun at each other. Honestly, I mean, I, don't, I feel like he doesn't make that much fun of me because you know he sees how hard I work, um, and yeah, there's just that level of. I mean, I just don't leave any room for him to like, do, you know. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah, he's, he's a good friend of mine, um, and you know, I respect him. Uh, he's not for everybody, but he's great to have in our place. You see Jeremy Kennedy in the back there. He should be fighting for the title next. I think a lot of people agree with that. How much of an asset is it having him as a training partner, having him here during fight week for, for a big opportunity like this against Henry Corrales? Um, yeah, I, um, me and Jeremy teamed up like probably like one of my last few fights in the UFC. And, you know, since then, he's helped me become more professional than I already was. And in, in um, I see him as an asset to my career, same same as him, um, you know, on the opposite side. Um, it it kind of works both ways in different styles. They come from different places, um, and we complement each other really well. And I think that's that's what you know. It, it it speaks volume to both of our careers. We just we keep elevating each other. Um, we're, we're we're each other's coaches in a sense. Um, we, yeah, we do. We do a lot, a lot together. Pretty much um, everything in the gym. Um, there's things we do outside of the gym together. Um, so yeah, it's, it's big, big. He's a big help. He's a big help. Huge help. Kind of reference it there as well. You got a bit of a raw deal in the UFC, and now it really seems like you're finding your stride in Bellator. This is a big card, really big fight against Henry Corrales. If you look at who Corrales has fought in his career, uh, it's the who's who. Um, how important is a win here, and and just you know to sort of kind of put your stamp on being in Bellator and being a you know really really high level fighter? 
yeah, I mean, I'm grateful for the journey that I've I've had to this point. Um, everything to this point with the UFC um, leading up helped me learn, helped me learn to grow to be in a position that I'm at today. I feel like if it wasn't for the for for that time, I wouldn't I wouldn't be as a much of a professional as I am now. And that's just the honest truth. I mean, I wouldn't have. I've, there was a lot of things that um, that I learned that wasn't even said, or you know, that that um, I just had to dig deep and um, look at myself and figure out what else I had to do. Um, you know, and it wasn't just training, being in the gym, because I was always in the gym. Um, there was just little details that I was blowing past um, during those times that you know now 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 I'm grateful for. And with with the UFC, I was just. Uh, I was so hungry um, at, as I am now, um, but I just yeah I, I I look at every little detail that I can possible. So I'm yeah I'm grateful for that, and yeah I'm excited for this fight. Very excited for this fight. I asked for this fight right after the last one fell through, and I got the contract. I'm pretty sure in a few hours. Um, this is this is probably one of the biggest um, fights. Um, in you know, I feel like this weekend. I feel like um, it's a it's a great matchup, um, and I feel like Henry Corrales is one of the biggest names in Bellator in Bellator featherweight division. I feel like he should be ranked higher than he is, and um, and that's why I asked for that fight. I re I respect him a lot. I respect his game. I respect what he's done in the sport, um, who he's fought. Um, but I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good and. Yeah, I feel like I can beat him. Guy up here. <clears throat> uh, picking back off of that, you kind of just answered my question already, but um, Henry Corrales is, a, is an opponent. He's a game fighter. Like you, There's not going to be any low on this fight. It's going to be action on and on and on. on. Um, are you, is that something you look for in a fight? You're excited to see to take on a guy that's not going to back up? Yeah, I, I mean, 100%. Um, that's, that's – I look. I mean, that's the guy I asked for. Um, I, I want. I want. I want to fight. You know, I didn't train this long to not get into a fight. You know, and yeah, he's gonna. He's the guy that's gonna give it to me. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna back down. He won't. So I feel like um, we're, this is the best matchup on the, um, of the weekend. You're taking the number nine ring featherweight with a win here. I mean, you can imagine big things coming for you. Is there anybody in particular you're, you're looking at? I know you know it's kind of early to you know, call anybody out, but is there anything you're looking for in particular afterwards? Um, yeah, I mean, the there's there's a lot of guys. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole list. You know, there's a whole list. But I asked for this guy. I got, I got to take care of Henry Corrales first, or, or else any plans after that don't matter. What do you think of the gold gloves? I saw you posted a picture of you in them. Um, I think it's cool. I think um, um, they're taking this. They're you know how how big they're making this event. Um, how well they're ch how well they're treating it for the history of uh, of the promotion, and you know just giving a little a uh, little spice to the show. I think I think it's cool. And you were rocking the Junior, junior Seiya uh, shirt. Rest in peace. Uh, what do you think of Junior Seiya? Oh, he's, he was a he was just a great great Polynesian. You know, he played the game of football really well, but he was a even better person. He's a, a better family man, and um, yeah, he. If you ever get to watch stuff on Junior Seau, um, his, his family came first, and um, yeah, his family came way way before him. In and he took care of them financially and um, just w with his heart, and yeah, just. That, that's the kind of person I want to be. Got gotcha. you. Best of luck. Thank you.